The best of friends must part. The POW requiem is being made 80 years after the fall of Singapore and the beginning of the Thai Burma Railway. And this is probably the greatest shock to the Australian psyche. It's one of the saddest stories in our history. The Sindakan death marches perhaps is one of the greatest tragedies that's ever happened to Australians. And there's an enormous depth of feeling around this because a lot of it wasn't resolved because it was never discussed. And so the wish now is, as the POWs come to the end of their life, that we focus on the families and we try to tell them what happened. In Europe, our POWs there, the POWs we look after in Australia, and also the POWs taken at the fall of Singapore that were then sent all through Asia. And the wish is that we would somehow lighten this burden and the music is intended to help people to heal. Like the sunshine that turns into rain we were together This project is actually supported by the son of a Sandarkan survivor and Dr Frank Mills was taken out in 1943 with the other officers. He was the chief medical officer and you know, obviously kept people healthy. And it's just such a remarkable thing to think that after the war when he married he took his wife to Japan on his honeymoon. And that generosity of spirit is really, that's the lineage or the path in which this work travels. We are very interested in how we repaired the wound. I think also it's time to forgive. I feel that the burden of bitterness and enmity is too, it's too heavy. The POW said never forgive, like never forget, and, and I honour that decision. Rain. But I don't think that we should hold their families we together and this work is trouble, made in the hope that it would help us to trouble. let this burden go. But they've taken my old house.